Good morning, folks. Welcome to another episode of NYC CNC. Folks, the open house was a huge success. <laughs> a couple small casualties I'm going to talk about in a second, but no, a phenomenal time. We had folks, we had a father-son fly in from New Mexico. We had folks driving in from Missouri, Tennessee, North Carolina, Virginia, Indiana, Michigan, Illinois, uh, Pennsylvania, New York. The list goes on. We had over 100 cars parked. Uh, we lost track of actual attendance, but folks, what a great, great success. Uh, I'm still sort of coming off the high of it, to be honest with you. I was telling my, my wife, and uh, I know you have to tread carefully on this subject, but it was almost like our wedding where I almost felt drunk is the only word I can think of from how uh, much energy you, you get from it. Um, so again, thank you folks. We raised $1,373 via the raffle proceeds, and that is solely due to you guys donating to that raffle and thank you and our sponsors uh, lakeshore carbide who donated a gift certificate suburban tool who donated a beautiful sign plate or, or excuse me angle block plate uh, american rotary who donated a 250 dollars gift card and are giving away a 10 horsepower phase converter stay tuned i'm going to talk about that in a second and tormach 500 dollars worth of gift certificates just incredible folks i really appreciate it a um, bunch of thoughts on next year too the big casualty was, and I feel like an idiot, I, Jared, not the guy who works for me, but the guy who films, uh, was down and he filmed all day. I'm sure he did a great job. And at the end of the day, I was beat. I really was beat. I said, hey, Jared, can you put the camera in the office and can you give me the SD card? I just was like, I want to make sure I have that SD card so it doesn't get mixed up or formatted or just lost. Walked over to my truck later, pulled some stuff out of my pockets, SD card fell out, I got home, I thought, I know I put it in my pocket, I don't see it, came back down to the farm, and here's what's killing me. I drove over it when I went to park, coming down to look for it. And a part of me is beating myself up, should I have like parked you know, further back and walked it? But I don't know, what are you going to do? Here's the crazy thing. Um, here's a, some still shots of the card. It looks fine, but it won't read. So I'm debating sending it off to uh, one of these data recovery companies, but it's not ch cheap. I am hoping um, some other folks have either video footage or pictures. So I, I wanted to do a short video like this anyway, mostly because I wanted to get out the word about the American Rotary giveaway. So here's the details. Here's the screenshot you can see. Go to, I think the original idea was you were going to like the NYCCNC page and like the American Rotary page. Do that anyways, folks, if you don't mind. But what you really need to do is comment on this thread. That gets you, I think, one entry. And if you share it, you get two additional entries. I hope I'm saying that right. Read the rules there for the formal uh, review of it. But there's no big crazy hurdles. You just have to be on Facebook and do that, I believe. So take a look at that. Uh, I think we're going to give it away in April 13th or 15th, pretty soon. So, so make sure you do that. And thanks to American Rotary, they're going to pay to ship it as well. Freight ship this thing anywhere within the continental U.S. So here's, I think, like a $1,700 uh, 10 horsepower phase converter that, again, they are giving away and they're getting it to your door at no charge to you. It's pretty cool, right, folks? People brought parts. I think that was cool. We got to talk about it. I want to think about how to do a better job of that next year, making sure there's an interaction. Everyone with a Tormach had a T on their name badge, and there were so many Tormach owners. That was really cool. We had some good Q&A. Tormach had two PathPilot laptops set up so folks could play with that. We had PathPilot, of course, on the mill and the lathe. We were running parts um, all day on both machines, I think, I hope. Um, everyone got to see that and answer questions and, and, and you know, if you had any questions about what a Tormach could do, uh, we got there, we got those answered. I actually have a favor to ask. <laughs> I lost the video footage and I didn't think to write down the prize winner. So if you won one of those awesome prizes, please do me a favor and shoot me an email, john at nyccnc.com and let me know what your name is and what you won. I appreciate that. We, um, we had a number of folks bring sort of housewarming gifts. Thank you to Matt for that goodie bag. Thank you to Brian for the homemade beverages. Really appreciate that. One fellow, I'm sorry I forget your name, uh, let me know who you are, donated a beautiful pair of American channel locks. We raffled those off. Again, the proceeds going to that high school machining program. I'll keep you guys up to date on, on where that money goes or more about that program. And folks, next year, 
I'm so excited already. We're gonna do it in May. It's gonna be a little bit warmer. That'll hopefully accommodate the crowd better and no one wants to be out in the cold. We are gonna do a better job of planning some activities the night before and the night after for, so folks who are in town can get together for dinners or a beer or two and, and hang out. And it's not just the open house. I think, um, don't quote, hold me to this, but I think we're gonna be able to get a big factory tour scheduled. Pro it would probably have to be on a Friday though. Of, there are some major manufacturing companies in the area. You know, we're talking 75 vertical machine center type companies. I think we can get a tour of one of those, which I think would be awesome. And uh, hopefully more prizes, more learning, more good stuff like that. But again, folks, really appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to still try to get footage, whether I recover mine or, or get it from somebody else. And I'll post a longer video with some of the some more video from the day. Here are a few still shots. I know still shots aren't the same as video, but nevertheless, what a phenomenal turnout. I was flattered. Um, and what we'll do here after these still shots is we'll wrap up with some, sorry, cell phone footage of the news clip on the local NBC station. They came down and uh, interviewed us and uh, we're flattered that they thought this was an interesting enough community event to uh, to come down and make it part of the news. It's been all over the news. I've had a number of folks in town mention it, which is really cool. So folks, I appreciate it. I mentioned it in my open house sort of talk that it's incredible that we're at 45,000 subscribers and 7 million views and Let's keep that energy going. Let's keep making parts. I am literally a little bit um, hung over from the open house and just in terms of, wow, that was a lot of work. But um, got a few little things I need to do and then we're diving right into that DIY suppressor build. So that's gonna be machining, it's gonna be turning, it's gonna be sheet metal, solid work, sprut cam. Uh, we're gonna Cerakote it. Should be, should be awesome from a product design, You know, really pulling it together from a lot of different aspects of machining and metalworking. So with that, folks, here is the uh, whiz clip of the local NBC station. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow for the Wednesday widget. And switching gears now back in 2006, while living in New York, John Saunders started making YouTube videos at home about metalworking and machining. Now he owns NYC CNC and has held an open house over the weekend. We've got uh, a CNC milling machine and then we've got a CNC lathe and these use Pretty simple computer uh, program from a software program called CAD and CAM and you can design a part and it's not quite as simple as hitting print but almost that simple and they'll use cutting tools to cut anything from plastic to steel uh, to, to metal in, in very precision, uh, in very precise cuts and complex cuts. Saunders aim is to enable people to learn how to make their ideas into a reality and to take down the barriers of metalworking and machining. He wants people to realize that these machines can be used at home or in the garage or wood shop to build parts for cars and boats or to bring innovative ideas to life. Saunders encourages everyone to continue to learn more about machining and working and to never let anything stop you from doing something you're passionate about.